Hi, I'm John from Just Whiskey, but today it's going to be Just Rum. If you're going to like today's show, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And consider becoming a Patreon with the link in the description below. And Patreons get exclusive content, exclusive reviews. Yeah, so I'm just taking a page out of Ralphie's book. And um, for the last week or so, I've been kind of taking a break from Scotch and just trying to reset my palate and kind of uh, go into the new year uh, fresh. But even probably the next review or two, we're going to be doing um, some more rums. And then also, too, we're going to be um, reviewing this Mikasa tequila. Okay, that'll be uh, forthcoming. Um, but today's review, we are going to be focusing on the uh, the Belize twelve year old single cask cask strength um, rum, and I'm going to be comparing it to an older four square, the two thousand and eight. Okay, so the two thousand and eight four square bottle has been this has been open a solid two years, oh, damn damn close to two years, um, whereas this Belize rum is a fairly fresh crack. And then I'm also going to be giving a, a mini review and my thoughts on the four square RL seals, 12 year old rum. Okay. Um, so this uh, Belize 12 year old. Okay. It doesn't say whether it's pot. It's, it's from, it's all um, distilled in Belize, but it does not say if it's pot still or a column still, or a combination, okay? So um, it's from a 359 Spirit Purveyor's Selection, Rum Runner, but it's spelt like Rumb Runner, and limited release, single cask, Belize Traveler's Rum, age 12 years. Um, this is one of 251 bottles from this cask, it is cash strength. This Belize rum comes in at 65.2% ABV. And the distillery is called Traveler's Liquors in Belize City, Belize. Distilled in June of 2006. Bottled in September of 2018. And it is bottled in Scotland. Okay. So one of these, and, and it's distributed by um, Glass Revolution Imports, okay? So I'm not sure who owns who and what's going on. There's a lot of uh, different companies written on here, but I'm belie I believe a 359 Spirit Purveyors selection, they s selected this single cask from Belize. I don't know how long it was matured in Belize, but at some point it was bottled in Scotland. Um, I have, uh, I have a, uh, a, many, many fond memories of Belize. I went there first in 1988 after seeing a program on 60 Minutes, um, declaring it, um, like the best kept secret in paradise and all that kind of thing. So of course I had to go there in 1988. Um, and then since then I've been there, um, several more times, but it's been, close to 20 no uh, actually I did go back about 10 12 years ago it's been at least 10 12 years since I I've been to Belize um, but yeah um, a lot of a lot of fond memories so um, I was really excited about finding this uh, this rum we a lot of people are very familiar with Foursquare and this so this Foursquare 2008 um, you know they say in the label that it's um, pot and column blend so pot stilled and column okay but they don't say what the percentage portion uh is there you know is it 90 percent column still and 10 percent pot still or, you know we have we have no idea but the reason i'm going to compare is because this four square 2008 is a 12 year 12 year old uh as well um, x bourbon which is the belize one is x bourbon so there's no uh, wine maturation or wine finishing in this whatsoever and um, 
The four square, it, it, I'm assuming it's cast strength because they're all different, but this particular one is 60% uh, ABV and, it, and uh, it was released in April of 2020. Cast type, cast type X bourbon, age 12 years, pot and column blend. All right. Again, I have no idea with the Belize if it's column or pot still. There's no mention on the eye. There's, there's a lot of verbiage on this particular bottle, and I wish they would give some, some, some specific information regarding that. You know, it says 100% cast certified. I don't really know what that means. Um, you know, it's a collector cast series. That's fine, you know, but um, it'd be nice to know if it was pot or column still. Um, and, then, and then we're going to be getting into the RL seals. All right. Um, and then also, too, I'm not sure how I'm, how I'm going to actually score or rate these because I'm really kind of just comparing them. And my comfort zone is in with scotch. Um, so I feel more comfortable scoring and rating that. But I think coming into the new year, um, a couple of people have asked me, they're like, John, most of your scores, and a lot of other people, too, a lot of other YouTubers, the scores seem to be, you know, in the mid to upper 80s. So soccer sick of argument most of my scores are probably between 85 and 89 right there's a, a couple that are less than that and there's a couple that are higher than that but it seems like such a tight range um i've been doing this channel for almost three years now and i think going into the new year i'm going to try probably a combination of scoring things but um i'm probably going to lean more towards the one out of ten um so one is poor obviously but four would be subpar but not bad five would be good six would be very good seven would be great above average eight would be excellent exceptional nine would be incredible um, all-time favorite and ten would be perfect so i'm going to try and incorporate that maybe with some of my you know 85 through 89 <laughs> scoring system so we kind of uh, find a little uh, comfort zone. All right, on to the review. Okay, we're going to start off with this Belize 12 year old review. Okay, um, right off the bat on the nose, it's creamy. Okay, vanilla cream, cola notes, root beer, cream soda, also a little bit of cedar wood cedarwood sandalwood is is there some cherry and a little bit of mustiness um, which leads me to believe you know possibly dunnage i don't know um all right the palette again that that creaminess, great mouthfeel, that, that cre nice, really nice mouthfeel, really nice viscosity, vanilla cream, those cola notes. There's a pleasant oak spice in there, which transitions to a, a slight bitterness. And I would say the finish on this is close to the long end. So medium plus to a long finish on this it's gonna very very nice very nice now i'm going to compare it to the four square 2008 except exceptional cask series selection um and i've already given all the specs um the four square is a barbados rum so uh different country different area um, so the four square is distilled and matured at four square, four square rum distillery in the Barbados. It does not say where it's bottled at. Okay. I'm assuming Barbados, but we don't know. Um, and both of these, um, they're non-chill filtered, no coloring added, no other additives at all in either one of these. And I've reviewed this four square 2008, um, quite a while ago. And I also reviewed um, the four square redoubt, redoubtable. Um, so, re so check out those reviews. Um, to be honest with you, looking back, I think 
psychologically, I was caught up in the hype at the time of, of Foursquare, and Ralphie was really, you know, touting it. But here, um, we're going to get into the nuts and bolts. Um, so with Foursquare, it's ex-bourbon. I think Foursquare, it, any bourbon lovers out there, I think you'll appreciate and probably gravitate towards um, towards a Foursquare. Because it, one reason why I don't gravitate towards bourbon is that acetone note. Um, it's a pet peeve of mine. It's distracting, and I don't find it um, very enjoyable or even patable. Uh, pal yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, so on the nose here, it's sharper. Even though this is a lower ABV, it's m more boozier in the nose. It's sharper. You have some that... Uh, a prominent acetone note as well as some varnish okay the pal the palate is better than the nose um, it's nice um, but when you breathe through your nose I'm still picking up that acetone varnish note but you are getting um, the vanillas um, not a lot of not a lot of fruit neither one of these really has noticeable fruit um, for, from from my palate um, so before we get into the RL seals if you like Foursquare um, then you will absolutely love this Belize 12 year old. This Belize 12, 12 year old has no acetone notes on it, no off notes, no varnish notes. It is just a, um, it, in my opinion, it, now it's a single cask granted, but in my opinion, um, this Belize rum, both 12 years old, blows this four square 2008 and 2008 for most of the youtubers even to this day call it one of their favorites if not one of their favorite exceptional cask series bottling but um if i was to re-rate these i would probably score this uh four square a five to five to six to be honest with you and I would give this um, Belize rum um, a 7 to an 8 in, in comparison. Um, I'm not a big rum connoisseur. I have some experience, but it's limited experience. Again, my, um, my enjoyment factor goes with uh, scotch. But, um, but yeah, if you like Foursquare, and you, in my opinion, so yeah, price-wise too, let's get into that, right? So the Foursquare, you can still find these older bottlings um, for well under $100. Um, there, there are still about in the $85 range-ish, okay? Um, whereas this Belize, it is a single cask. Um, it's very limited. It, it, it's going to run about $120, okay? But again, it is a single cask strength, single cask. Um, so you are going to pay more for it, in my opinion, if you're... If, if you're a bourbon lover and you think you enjoyed Foursquare, I think you will be very, very impressed with this Belize rum. Um, okay, now we're going to talk about the R.L. Seals 12-year-old. So no mention at all on this bottle whether it's um, any pot still or, or column still. We don't know. Um, but it's 12 years old. And it's, they're labeling it as finest Barbados rum. And this comes in at 46% ABV. So I believe non-chill filtered, no coloring added, and probably no other additives as well. And the name RL Seals is Richard Seals. And Richard Seals is in charge or was in charge of Foursquare um, Distillery. He's certainly the master distiller. 
um, master blender, I believe, and might even be pot owner. I, you know, I don't know, but Richard Seals is uh, very passionate about what he does. Um, so a little uh, mini review of this. Um, on the nose, it's very light and fruity. And also, uh, there, there are some of those cola notes in there. And there's a slight, um, a slight low estuary funk in there as well, which I really find, which I haven't found in either one of these. Um, yeah, a little, again, low ester funk, vanilla, cola notes, fruits on the palate. Mm. That is really nice. Um, it is lighter on the palate. You're getting some vanilla, some cocoa, cocoa notes in there, and vanilla. Fruitiness, like juicy fruit gum. But it's all very well integrated. So, um, very pleasant. And um, I think for someone that's not a rum lover, or they don't think they're a rum lover, I think they would really appreciate this. Um, again, compared to these cast drinks, it's noticeably, you know, lighter. I would describe the finish on this as a, a medium finish. And the price on the RL Seal 12-year-old blend, Barbados, um, and you, I think you can still find it for anywhere between $55 to $65. Um, in my area right now, I, th I think I paid around $55 or $58 for this. I think right now it might be $65. Um, but it is a 12-year aged rum. And I, I really enjoy it. Um, I almost don't even want to compare it to these two because to me it's, it's a different animal. very nice um, oh yeah it's got some nice nice sweetness in there almost some some whiny gumberry notes as well again that goes along with that fruitiness some cocoa some vanilla um, it's one of the more unique rums that that I've that I've had um, it kind of it doesn't really remind me of a traditional um, rum like Bacardi's or something like that um this is just a quick this isn't a full review on this this is kind of like first impressions on this but I would score this a seven to eight as well um and on my numeric scale um I would sc score this RL Seals 12 year old um easily in the upper 80s I mean this is 87 88 all day long um I would definitely buy another bottle of this. Um, I think I'm probably all set with Foursquare, but I think this uh, company that from uh, Glass Revolution that are in, incorporated with the uh, 359 Spirit Purveyors, um, if I saw another offering from them, whether it be Jamaican or they do have other offerings, but I haven't tried any of them. But I would um, be open to, to try something like this. So I hope that I could go on and on and on. I hope that was helpful. If you enjoyed today's show, give it a thumbs up. Please like, please, and subscribe if you already haven't. And consider becoming a Patreon with exclusive review content for Patreons only. And remember, folks, it's just rum. <laughs> so hats off to you all. And take care, folks, and Happy New Year. All the best in 2024 for everyone out there. And drink in moderation and cleanse your palate. Give yourself a break and uh, stay safe and uh, try to maintain your health as best you can. Take care, everybody.